the late 1800s, Marty Bergen was known across America as the best catcher the game of baseball had ever known. He played for the Boston Bean Eaters and helped them win National League pennants in 1897 and 1898. One article described him as a nimble fielder with a bullwhip arm who could snap the ball to second base without so much as moving his feet. Jesse Burkett, who would later go on to the Hall of Fame as a pitcher, said Bergen was the best catcher in baseball history. While his game was good, other ball players had a hard time being around Marty because he suffered from mental illness marked by hallucinations and paranoia. Before playing for the Bean Eaters, he played for the Kansas City Blues, but left the team because of a perceived slight against him. He was once removed from a game because he began dodging pitches rather than catching them because he was focused on avoiding being stabbed by an imaginary attacker. He once randomly slapped another ball player at breakfast. When prescribed medicine, he refused to take it because he thought it might be poison. He even began walking sideways and sitting in particular positions so he could fend off any attacks, although there was no reason for anyone to attack him. In 1899, Marty had to be completely removed from the game of baseball due to his odd behavior. Then, on January 19, 1900, Marty apparently lost his temper with his wife, and it was probably for something that she did not even do. She was found on a bed with her arms raised in defense with her skull terribly crushed, having been evidently struck more than one blow by her axe-wielding husband. Also in the room with her was their three-year-old son Joseph, who was found on the floor with a large wound to the head, also from the axe. Marty and their six-year-old daughter were found on the floor of the kitchen, and it appeared the girl had been hit many times on top of the head with the axe. After killing his whole family, Marty slit his own throat with a razor with such veracity that it was reported that his head was nearly severed, although that would have to be a really big razor. All of the bodies were discovered by Marty's father, which would be horrendous, discovering your son and his wife and your two grandchildren all slaughtered, blood everywhere from an axe. Following the deaths, his illness was attributed to schizophrenia and manic depression by a Harvard medical doctor. Astonishingly, he was not viewed as a monster like he is today. Instead, a granite memorial was erected for Marty Bergen that read, In memory of Marty Bergen, 1871 to 1900, member of the Boston National League Club, erected in appreciation of his contribution to America's national game. But no such memorial was erected for the victims of this killer.